A residency in a um, small community hospital outside of Philadelphia. And while I was thumbing through some magazines one night, some journals, I saw an ad to uh, work for the group in Saratoga Springs and called them up and got the job 11 years ago and I've wow. been here ever since. And what do you think of this area? I like it. I, I really do. It's a um, fun place to be more so in the winter for me. I really like the winter. <laughs> yes. Really? I'm just uh, the opposite. I hate the winter. No, I, I like the snow. I like the cold. 20 and below and in too. snowing. It mean, doesn't I'm matter if it's the heat or the cold. It brings patients into the emergency room. Any extreme seems to. Do, do full moons affect what goes on here? In the we feel room? like full moons make things worse. Really? I don't know if, if I've ever read anything statistically that says it's worse, but we all think it's you worse. You cannot anticipate when you're going to have a full house here. No. It can be 8 in the morning, it can be 8 at night, it can be anywhere in between. So how do you feel? What is your title and compass? What are your job responsibilities here at the Telehouse? Anything and everything to make the emergency department run smoothly and to ensure that the patients are getting quality medical care. So in your time here at the hospital, you were able to get a, a new revamped facility? I took over as the director from our previous administrator who, who had moved to another area uh, right at the beginning of the renovation project. So I was, I was involved in this project right from the start and ultimately very happy, very pleased with the way it's come out. Don't you feel personal like this is your hospital and pieces of it are yours? Don't you become part of the staff and become part of this place? Right? You, you do, and you become very good friends with many of the staff members that work here. And the other thing that I always like to tell people when they come to interview with us or that the nursing staff and, and the rest of the hospital staff that's caring for you are your friends and neighbors because they live right in town. And they would never want to do anything that would intentionally cause you more harm or to wait longer or to be more uncomfortable. And even the uh, emergency staff, the ambulance folks here, I mean, you get to know them as, as friends. They're, you know them by name, by face. And they're helping you a lot of times when they come in. I mean, aren't they, they stay in the work with you, uh, transporting the patient to where they need them and everything. So we really have great emergency services. We do. We do. And we're actually at a very key point for, for regional emergency medical care, as you and I were talking about before the interview. We're in the process of coordinating for regional paramedic and, and EMT protocols that will be the same across the area extending from the Catskills all the way up to the Canadian border and from Utica to Massachusetts and Vermont. Everybody will have a, a single unified protocol which makes it a lot easier for the guys and girls working out there on the streets to 